let's look at some problems involving ratio okay so let's read the problem okay so whenever you have problem like this uh, it's good to put them in some table form a recipe has three teaspoon of water one egg and two cups of flour so let's make up three columns so this is w for water uh, e for egg and f for flour okay so what what are they saying you've got three teaspoon of water one egg and two cups of flour and the question is if the recipe is to be made with three eggs if you've got three eggs here you want you want to make uh, with three eggs how much water is needed so let's ignore this this is not what we want we want to find this so well you just ask the question this is increasing in which proportion or I'm asking the question one times what gives you three so the eggs has become three times bigger so I know one times three is three so if the egg is increasing in a proportion of three or three times the water has to also increase by three times so it has to be nine so the answer would be nine teaspoon of water nine teaspoon of water this is just using proportion if you understand this logic you can do any type of question of proportion so let's look at the next question again let's write water water egg flour so you got three teaspoon of water one egg and two cups of flour if six teaspoon of water is used so this is six so the question is how many eggs so we don't want and how much egg and how many flour so we want to find this and also this so this you'd ask the question three times what is six this is becoming how many times bigger well you should know three times two is six so you increase this by the same proportion so this is times two so this has to be two and this also has to increase by a proportion or this is also called a factor so we can say you need two eggs you need two eggs and four cups of flour four cups of flour okay let's look at one more question 10 cups of flour is was are used or is used how many eggs should be used so let's do water egg flour so we know this is the ratio of three is to one is to two and water is now flour is 10 so this is 10 so how much how many eggs so we don't want to find this we only want to find this well this is increasing by a factor of five two times five is ten so one times five is five so you need five eggs okay so you just need to know basic times table so let's look at one more question in a class of 15 students the ratio of boys to girls is two is to three so let me make up a table boys girls total so what's the meaning of ratio the ratio is two is to three that means for every five students every five student you've got two boys and three girls that's what it means okay so the total number of students is 15 yeah okay so let me scroll up so what is this factor so five times what is 15 well five times three is 15 so you have to increase this by the same proportion or same factor so this should be nine girls and times it by three which is six so you got boys you've got six boys and how many girls nine girls and the total is 15 so this is how you can check your answer